Morning guys. Just about to go to work. It is Good Friday today, so I'm earning a lot of money. <laughs> I was gonna call in sick again, but I was like, nah, there's no way I can miss out on two and a half times. So, just about to head off to work. Two tins of tuna, one scoop of protein powder, and some cinnamon, which I will mix some cottage cheese with later on. So, I'm not taking too much today. I want to fast at least the first four hours, and the shift today is only eight hours, so that's all good. This will get me through to the end of the day. Two cans of Pepsi, Pepsi Max, and that's it. Nope. <laughs> Don't want to forget you on the fucking roof. Alright. So it was a big, uh, big leg session yesterday. Went to Anytime Fitness. Hadn't trained there for a good few days actually. But it was, it was nice. It was good to, good to use a few different machines. Um, I always, I always enjoy leg day at Anytime Fitness. The, um, the life fitness machines that they use are all pretty, pretty well suited to my, my frame. Um, whereas, you know, a few other machines in different gyms that I go to, uh, you know, are just too small or the, the angles just don't work for me. So it was good. My compound movement was leg press. I did probably about eight or nine sets, um, you know, moving up in weights. I did about three warm-up sets, then hit my first working set on the on the fourth fourth set. At what did I have? I had 120, 120 kgs on each side. So four sets of 12 to 15, nice, nice and deep reps. Um, and then the last set was a drop set, which I normally do. So after that, we went over to a super set with a seated leg extension and seated leg extension and walking dumbbell, no, walking barbell lunges um, up and down the little area that they've got there. That's that's one thing that you know I don't like about Anytime Fitness is that the area to do walking lunges and to do cardio and things like that is tiny so that's that's a bit of a bugger but anyways before I before I do anything else I've stopped here on the way to work it's early I didn't get much sleep I'm fucking tired and I need an energy drink <laughs> so let's do that right another day in paradise so as I was saying with the leg workout, super set between leg extensions and walking barbell lunges, which really killed me. I did about four sets of those, um, you know, reps to failure basically, but still relatively heavy. So I used 68 kgs on the uh, leg extension, did 20 reps, and then, no, sorry, 15 reps good ones though and then went over to the um, dumbbell fuck why do I keep calling it dumbbell barbell and got the 30 kg barbell and did sets of you know 20 to 25 walking lunges so after that I was gonna do some hamstrings but you know well you may know that I don't particularly enjoy training hamstrings and training is all about enjoyment really isn't it so well training well being being consistent with your training is, is going to come down to you enjoying it, is what I'm trying to say. So I didn't train hamstrings, I went over and did some squats. I only had 60 kgs on the bar um, and you know I was I was failing on sets of 10 to 12 uh, which shows that my legs were fucked. 
So it was a good leg workout. My, you know, the feeling pretty tender today. I don't tend to get sore straight away. If I'm if I'm feeling like weak and feeling DOMS in my legs that night, or the, you know, first thing the next morning, I know that I've gone extremely hard, which I clearly haven't gone extremely, but definitely a good leg workout. Glad I got it in. So today, I've seen what I'm taking at work. I'm just going to snack on that from about 12 o'clock onwards it's um it's nearly eight now and uh, i'm actually probably going to be late so i better put the camera down and boost it but i hope everyone's having a good day it is easter friday good friday so yeah my blessings to all of you people out there i'm not religious but uh enjoy enjoy easter everybody enjoy your easter eggs knows I might get some later probably not but it could be a good pre-workout meal so anyways guys I'll see you in the next one what is up everybody as you can probably tell I'm half asleep but it's a good thing thank God thank God my clients actually been pretty good today so my little strategy has been I chucked on a movie put them in front of it and then just as the movie's about to stop, just as the movie's about to finish, I'll, <laughs> I'll distract him, tell him to go and get a cup of tea. He goes and gets that. I press restart on the DVD player. He comes back, sits down, starts watching it again. So I've just done that three times in a row <laughs> with the movie Rush Hour. And thank fuck it works because I was so tired this morning. So I've just had three hours of chilling out, laying down with my client. He's having lunch now. I'm just having a little break. But uh, as you can see, it is literally a cloudless sky today. And it's actually, I, it hasn't been like this for, for quite a while to be honest. There's always some sort of cloud in the sky, but not today. It's beautiful, it's a lovely day. And I've got two more hours of work, and then I can go home and concentrate on shit that I want to do. So, anyways, I shouldn't really be complaining. Today's Easter Friday, public holiday, I get paid fuckloads, and I've just got paid for sitting there watching a movie, so <sighs> it's not too bad, is it? Not too bad when it goes well. So, yeah, just checking in. I actually, I didn't do too well um, on the fasting idea. I got to work and there was chocolate. So I had probably about 200 calories worth of chocolate. And then I made myself a peanut butter sandwich, which was another three or 400 calories. I've just had two tins of tuna, which tasted fucking disgusting <laughs> compared to the other food. I had to try, I had to have, well, I, bought, I got, um, uh, lime and cracked pepper tuna which is the lowest in fat and lowest in carbs uh, flavor that you can get but god after eating something like chocolate it tastes fucking disgusting <laughs> but at least that that's that's my protein basically so uh, before i do leave i'll be making up the cottage cheese protein powder and cinnamon uh, with a little bit of honey probably so i'll smash that down as a pre-workout meal um, and then go home make a pre-workout and then we go to the gym I'm actually, I'm actually going to buy um, some of these core nutrition ready-made meals that I had been having earlier on in the year. Um, but for some reason, since starting this this vlog, uh, I haven't really had them. So I'm going to go back to Outback Gym and Fitness. I'm actually going to work out there as well, and then I'm going to buy um, 20 ready-made meals to have for the next week, week and a half until I go to New Zealand. So that'll tie me over. Each meal is usually about 50 grams of protein, um, 20, 30, 40 grams of carbs, and fuck all fat. So they always fit in my macros. They're, they're always delicious. I recommend them to everyone. The only thing is that they cost $10 each. So, you know, if you don't have the money, then stick to the supermarket. If you do, I would recommend these. They're always under 500 calories each, and they're a really good meal. So that's what I'm going to do after work. For now, I will head back inside and catch up with my old mate watching Rush Hour. 
and hopefully have a good rest of the day. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, we are out of work. Fuck yes. And I found out that I've got, not only do I have an afternoon shift tomorrow, which starts at 2.30, which means I can sleep in and stay up as late as I want. But on Sunday, I've got a night shift. So that will be from nine at night till nine in the morning. Um, or actually nine till seven, I think. But either way, it means that I don't have to be woken up early the next two days, which is always a good feel, especially for me anyway. So uh, yeah, just about home. My client was, a fucking good cunt today he was a breeze and this is the client that that's in the prison the one that I don't like having so um, yeah I guess I was like the whisperer today because I kept him kept him happy without doing much which is fucking unheard of but um, anyways not sure what I'm gonna train I won't be I won't be uh, staying home too long I'll be mixing up a drink and then out the door again so uh, just to, in a good good mood right now I stuck to the well I didn't really stick to the diet did I, I ate, ate that shit in the morning but I'm still feeling you know relatively hungry right now um, which is a, a feeling I'm getting used to again I know I actually watched back one of my old vlogs um, which was I think four days out from my old show from my my last show um, so if you do go back and watch it, it's four days out, that's what it's called. But basically I woke up that morning and I was talking to the camera and I said, you know, I'm sick and tired of feeling hungry all the time. And now, and you know, it reminds me of, of, uh, of back then and actually how I was feeling. And it's quite cool that I made these vlogs because otherwise, you know, I would have thought, oh no, it wasn't that bad, but really it was. It was fucking bad. So, you know, I'm feeling, feeling the pinch a little bit. But uh, we are tightening up, definitely, and that's always a good thing. So I will talk to you guys soon. Done. And actually, I was going to go buy some of those meals, but they need to go in the freezer and there ain't a huge amount of room. Frozen fruit, chicken breast, veggies, bread, fish. Yeah, yeah, um, probably could make them fit, but uh, I doubt it. I'm gonna wait. I've actually got a lot of food. I've got enough food um, to last me, so I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna get those meals. Probably get them next week. And then uh, make sure I've got a few for me when I come back from holiday, which I can't wait for, man. I can't wait to go to New Zealand! Alright. So I've decided we're going to do a push workout. It's chest, shoulders and triceps. Not sure exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start off with a compound incline uh, chest press movement. I'm not exa exactly sure whether it's going to be barbell, smith machine, unilateral press, dumbbells. I mean, there's so many options, but basically, I know that it's going to be a compound movement and um, I'm going to go pretty hard six, seven, eight sets. After that, we're going on to a isolation chest movement, which will be some flyers. After that, I'll do some, um, I'm not going to do any shoulder pressing, I'm going to do side raises and rear rear raises or rear rear flies um, targeting the side and rear delt and then after that I'll do whatever I can with triceps I, I might do some close grip uh, push-ups superseded with some pull, uh, push downs and then I'll do some sort of overhead movement superseded with who knows something anyways You guys know, I never really know how I'm going to train or what I'm going to train. I train for hypertrophy, 
and my working sets are always going to be heavy 10 to 15 reps um, but as far as warming up and drop sets warming down things like that completely changes it all the time so anyways one scoop of optimum nutrition gold standard pre-workout Gym and Fitness haven't been here for a good couple of weeks, so I'm paying for a membership I don't even fucking use, which is stupid because this is actually the best gym in town. So, fuck, I'm feeling my heart's going fast. I, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to work out. Good amount of pre-workout. Let's do this. Just finished up chest and shoulders. Uh, no triceps today. I did an incline Smith machine press. Um, what did I do? Supersetted with cable flies. So I did seven sets, seven sets of 10 to 15 reps on both the incline Smith machine press uh, and the cable flies. From there, I went over to some side side lateral raises using the dumbbells. Um, I did fucking countless amounts of sets of those, drop sets, super sets, whatever to fucking get an awesome pump in the side of the side delt. And then just now, I've gone and done a rear delt using a super set between the pec deck, reverse fly, and dumbbells. Uh, bent over dumbbell rear delt flies. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm pretty tired out to be honest. Um, but I will say that my haircut's fucking clean, man. I love it. I'm feeling pretty swole. Shoulders and chest done. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Good workout. Fucking the sickest lighting in there. Gotta give it that. I really gotta train them more often eh? Actually, the guy that owns it, Corey, he's my age. Uh, me and him were chatting just casually last year when I was training there all the time about a possible sponsorship um, but nothing really ever came of it but I'm thinking about putting in you know making an actual offer a proper offer whereas before we were just talking about it so you know if I said I'll promote his business on my Instagram and Facebook and YouTube so many times per month and in return he'll give me either a discount off subs or free subs and also I can uh, have a code where if anyone that you know sees my advertisement on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook goes in and buys subs they say my name they get 10% off but that also shows the owner of the gym that people are listening to me and they are coming there on my recommendation because I'm always recommending this place I mean, I'm not gonna lie fucking heaps of people ask me where to buy subs in town subs what does what where to get it and I always say Outback Gym and Fitness so I reckon could be a little bit of a partnership coming up but got to get in some fucking good shape for that to happen don't I so feeling pretty good anyway so I'll see you guys 
home now. I thought, I think this light might give me a pretty accurate update on my physique, so that's what we're going to do. go so far as to say I am starving right now absolutely fucking ravenous so let's hope I don't go too overboard on the post-workout meal but uh, let's have a look shall we we're gonna have Post workout gains. Um, two serves of two serves of oats. We're gonna have chicken. Actually, I can't fucking wait to have this. It's Thai style chicken breast fillets. Um. Four serves, each serve, 27 protein, no fat, and five carb. And fucking look at that. Look at that marinade, man. That's going to be delicious. So I'll cook up that. Use almond milk for the oats. Maybe a little bit of peanut butter. And I'll make up some BCAAs. And that my friends, is post-workout meal 101. Oh, fuck. Another workout in the books. That's how we do it.